Myself, no, I consider uh, myself a spiritual, religious woman. Um, I don't go to church every Sunday, but I do pray every day. I prayed like eight times before I came out here with you. <laughs> I was like, God, just tell me what to say. <laughs> when I talk to God, right? And you know, whatever you want to call it for yourself, if it's God or the other realm or Ooh. your angels or... By any name. By any name. It responds. Any gender, right, in response. When I, when I talk to God, I say, tell me what to do. Because I'm being watched, and I want to do the right thing here. So tell me what to say. Tell me how to say it. And help me see the path. And if you show me that path, I will walk down it. And do you know what, Oprah? Look where that path has led me. I am sitting right next to you. Ah. Ah. It does it every time. Asking you shall be given. Oh. What has been Whoa. your greatest spiritual awakening? <laughs> I think my greatest spiritual awakening actually has been quite recent. I think it's that I realize that I have the chronic pain that I have for a reason. And I don't mean to be like, God gave it to me, you know? And I, I don't also don't believe in that, like, you know, karma thing where, yeah. like, you're sick because you did something bad. Yeah. But I do believe that this was, this happened for a reason. All the things I've been through, I think they, ha they were supposed to happen. I was supposed to go through this. Mm. Y'all gotta Asking be careful, Asking you man. shall receive. Y'all gotta be careful, man. Like, Ooh. um... That, I mean, if one of us was up there, we may say some of the same words. Mm -hmm. It would mean some, but it would mean different. something totally different. There, yeah. there. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I don't know. Again, you always have to leave room for maybe within the last ten minutes something <laughs> happened with this person. <laughs> but the track record of Lady, I think oh. she's done so much damage to me. She ushered in this idea of being born this way. Yeah. You remember her oh, yeah, song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To me, people record, weren't yeah. really saying that until she pushed it. Right. And now we have a whole generation of people who believe their their uh, God designed them intentionally sinful. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah. not that it was a, a a a result of falling away from God. They believe God intentionally designed them purposefully for His glory to yeah. do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like it was a good thing. And it's like, wow, she has done so much damage. So the fact that she was saying this, I'm like, what are you talking about? What do you pray to who? Pray to like, I guess it. Like, uh, who's this it Universe. that you're talking to? So you just gotta be real careful, man. Like, I don't know what these people like. The language is so similar. Yeah. yeah like, how is. do you parse that? Like, if you're a young it's kid a growing up yeah, now, yeah, like, how do you parse that out? Yeah. It sounds right, <sighs> except the middle part, obviously. But <laughs> all I can say, it's, man, it's just the spirit of the Antichrist, bro. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, it's, the times, it's, the times yeah, yeah. it's it's the spirit of the Antichrist, man. It's like even the very elect would be deceived if it were possible. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like you're gonna hear so many things yeah. that are similar to Christ. See so many things that people who don't know or understand what the word says about Christ, they would associate those things with God. And I try to tell people who are mad at church and mad at God, because sometimes things you thought had something to do with Christ had nothing to do with him. And you're looking at the actions of people and that's pushing you away from who God yeah. truly is. Yeah. I challenge you, don't look at these people. Get into your word and really seek God for yourself. Even if you don't believe, just give it a shot. Just seek it for yourself because it's so much strong delusion. There's so much foolishness out here. There's so many people who just want to have power and authority and they want to do whatever they want to do. And if they're happy and if they're comfortable, God is behind that. Mm -hmm. But when you look at scripture, God always challenges you to deny yourself. Mm -hmm. We're following Christ. He did. He was in the garden like, is there any, uh, any other way? And he had to deny himself mm -hmm. in order for him yeah. to get on that cross. Anybody you ever seen follow Christ in scripture, you look at Paul, he denied himself. And you say, I don't want to live. It's not about living a miserable life. It's not about uh, not having any joy. Your joy comes through the Lord. Your joy comes mm -hmm. from being able to serve God. Your joy mm -hmm. comes from the fact that we are yeah. following people who fell away from Christ. And he gave us a chance to be in fellowship with him. Do not let these people, these material possessions, this fame, all this stuff that appears to be something that's worth something, deceive you. Yeah. These are not people of God. Yeah. Yeah. Some of these pastors. Are not people of God. <laughs> Which ones? <laughs> <laughs> Which ones in Atlanta? Look at Which ones in Atlanta? You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how I feel about it. Hey, was understood or got to be explained. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But I'm telling you, man, and I was sitting here listening to it. I'm just like, man, this is crazy. Just like yeah. what you mentioned earlier when 
Christ was in the garden and the enemy was saying, he was quoting scripture. Yeah. Like this joker know the yeah. scripture. He know yeah, the Bible. Yeah. And what we're seeing right they here, we're seeing. You. And you yeah. know me, I'm, I'm, I'm gutter with it. Like it's some evil jokers out here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Quoting the Bible and they're yeah. using this mug. And the Bible is a great book. It's our it's our, our blueprint for our faith. Mm. Slave masters use it for the wrong reason. Right. Celebrities are using mm -hmm. it for the wrong reason. Right. People are influenced. Political people, Donald Trump, all these yeah. folks, they're using it for the wrong reason. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and, Facts. and 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 it's like people are being deceived and being tricked. God is not involved in this stuff. Yeah. You want to know the heart of God, the conscious, uh, not consciousness, please know. You want to know the heart of God and you want to know how God feels about things, look into his word. He's never going to contradict his word. Yeah. He's not looking at horoscopes. He's not looking at magic eyes. He's not using tarot cards. He's not doing none of that. He's concerned about your heart, yeah. the intentions of the heart. Yeah. Are you seeking to please him and follow his will that's listed in these scriptures? Yeah. If you're not doing that, I don't care what you got, how you get it or whatever, Like you're not a, you're not a follower of Christ. Just point blank, Peter. Yeah, it's it's just hurt. It hurts, man, yeah. when you read your word and you you see the purity of Christ coming off this book and all these words coming to your heart, and then you hear people twisting it. Yeah. It just hurts, man. Like it's because the, the the scary thing is, like you talked about, how many people are being led astray mm -hmm. from just one celebrity saying something and people running with that. You know, like, but it's even happening within our small circle of. Yeah. What we do, if you want to call it the music business okay. or you want to call it the church or yeah. I'm saying all facets of yeah. <laughs> Christian hip hop to gospel music yeah. to yeah. CCM to yeah. just the church in a in, in a whole like we're we're seeing so much of it. We know we know a person personally who was a youth pastor who was awesome. Man, I would have Man, let's go. I would have went and fought somebody for this dude. Like yeah. now he a now he a mystic he in and, the a, and a magician. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like he doing you know, handstands he in the woods, <laughs> talking to frogs. Like. Then we got brothers that that go and follow different theologies and camps and and different ways of believing. And then so it's like, man, it's crazy because it's so much confusion. And I think that's the key. Is like. If you confused about what you're looking at, yeah, then it ain't it ain't right. I, I think the thing also too is trying to understand, um, understand that you gotta test these folks, man. Like yeah. just because somebody said they're a Christian, you know, listen to what they saying. You know, watch somebody I mean? fruit. Yeah, watch mm -hmm. the fruit. Especially, in, you know, especially, especially if you are a Christian yourself. I don't. Mm -hmm. I'm 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 past the whole celebrity Christian thing. I'm past that. Like mm -hmm. I'm I'm I've been past that for a while. So if somebody say they're a Christian, I pray for them. You know what I mean? My quiet time. I have times when I pray for entertainers or whatever. But I think the the thing for for me now is like I I God sees us all. If you say you're a believer, he sees us all the same. He don't care if you he he honestly more cares about the person who's the humble person who Every day gets up, work, whatever, you know mm -hmm. what I mean, versus the person that's rich because the rich person got more obstacles in them that could help them yeah. back from Jesus. Mm -hmm. So, so, but what I'm saying to anybody out there is I, I understand there's so many people out there claiming Jesus right now. Jesus is hot right now, honestly. <laughs> but we don't Jesus know the though, right Jesus. God? We don't know who the right, because now you, you misinterpret Christ's consciousness. If I'm, if I'm around somebody and they say, yo, man. I read the word and I got Christ consciousness. But they like Jesus like they like a celebrity. Yeah. They don't look at yeah. him as the son of the son of yeah. man. They look at him. They don't as, look at him as Lord. When yeah, they don't look Lord, at him like, yeah. like, like part of the Trinity. Yeah. He just like the he homie. just like yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. homie that do great things. Hey, yeah. man, y'all yeah. met Jesus yet? Man, that dude crazy. Like, that's like if I introduce <laughs> to a new rapper. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yo, my my boy, my boy the hardest rapper out. And you'd be like, dang, yo, he is. But he's just a rapper. Yeah, that's how they look. They look yeah. at like Jesus, like he's just Kyle Eidelman came out with a book called person. "Not a Fan," bro, and he talked about how a lot of people are fans of Christ, but they're not followers of Christ. Mm. They see the miracles, they see all the different things that he does, and they're like, "Man, I want to be like Christ." If you really want to be like Christ, you're going to have to live a sacrificial life. This is somebody who yeah, came yeah. from heaven, something we have no knowledge of, and became a human being, and not like a, a rich, lavish living human being. He came as a servant. Yeah, he was broke. The man had one singlet robe. He ain't had no sports car. He had no chariot. <laughs> the man walked everywhere <laughs> he went. He paid the taxes chair. out of a fish mouth. He hung with his homeboys. They were chilling. They had to catch <laughs> their own food. Like he came down, and was on the lower end of society. Mm -hmm. 
humility. You know what I'm saying? He said, man, this was, in Philippians it says, man, this is God in the flesh. He could have just flexed his muscle on y'all. Mm-hmm. But he said, I'm going to come down and humble myself because if I came in, if I came as God, y'all couldn't follow that. I couldn't yeah. be y'all's example. But I'm going right. to come down here and show you what it looks like yeah. to be betrayed. I'm going to show you what it looks like to be rejected. I'm going to show you what it looks like to live sacrificially and really follow the Holy Spirit for real so you can look at that. And then when he say you can do greater things than these, he's not talking about what these foolish people are talking about. He said, you'll be able to follow the Holy Spirit as well. You right now, you see me, so I'm your example. But you're gonna be able to follow follow God without even seeing me as your example because mm-hmm. I'm gonna be on the inside of you. Yeah. That's the greater thing that he was talking about. You could be able to live with God's spirit on the inside of your yeah. body. You yeah. don't have nothing to do about none of this stuff on the outside of us. But people are so deceived because yeah. we've been down for so long, mm-hmm. we wanna have something that we can show people. And Hebrew Israelites, they treat us like this, they treat us like that. We're gonna have our day when we in heaven, they worshiping us like when I get to heaven, I'm not caring about them worshiping me. Yeah, I'm just right. glad I made sure. it in, bro. Right. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to be like, like I'll sweep mop, whatever. <laughs> hey, I'm just glad to be in that mode. You feel me? But we are so caught up in this life, and we so we, we humanize God so much. We think God cares about these things. God don't care about these things for real. Yeah. Right. God cares about his will being accomplished and people knowing who his son is, and he's giving us every chance in the world. Yeah. And if you leave this earth and you don't know who Jesus is for real, you cannot be mad at God because he's giving you every yeah, opportunity yeah, to find out who he is. Yeah, man. man. My right. daughter asked me real quick. My daughter, uh, I was noticing one day she was looking up every artist. So she'll like, she's not on social media, but she'll grab my phone and get on TikTok, YouTube shorts and stuff like that. This is my 13-year-old. So she hears songs like she like. So she hear like a Frank Ocean song. But then I go, you know he's Zesty, right? And she'll be like, you know, I'm like, you don't know who he's singing to. She's like, I know, but I just like this one song. Then she go, I'm like, who else you listen to? She listen to Scissor. One song, but I'm like, Scissor the most toxic female <laughs> you gonna hear. I'm just being real with her. Drake, all of these popular TikTok, like 15 seconds um, of these records she liking. And then she went and searched every artist that she liked to see what their religion was. So mm. then she came back to me. Yeah, but Scissor's this. Or, or um, no, she said, uh, Drake's Jewish, so he's a Christian, right? And I was like, I said, listen, you can't look at the title. <laughs> Can't look at the title. I said, "Listen, I ain't never looked at you and said I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. I ain't never told her like, hey, tell you, I'm a Christian. I have just walked it out in front of her. Yeah. And through our walking out and what we teach and what we believe and when we read and when we do our devotions at night, that's what she's. I don't, so I don't have to sell to my daughter that I'm a that who I am." Mm-hmm. Because I lived that out and I have those talks, even when we make our mistakes. Mm-hmm. We had those talks. And and but she she looking for the, the people that she like to to give her some peace about listening to this music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I'm letting her do it. And there was a time because she's she takes religion in school. It's a time it's a time where she came to me and what came in and my wife and said she was doubting everything mm-hmm. that she believed. Mm-hmm. How old is she? She's thirteen. Wow. This was a... Uh, this was about a year and a half ago. Oh wow! So I was like, man, my wife, my wife, here go my wife. My wife want to take the belt out. <laughs> you know, <laughs> beat it in there. Beat, beat, beat so the. So I told my wife like, nah, let her go. This is her journey. She has to figure it out. This is her journey. So then she came. She came to us like a little while later. Not right away. It was like a few months later. She was like, hey, what I was telling y'all, I don't, I don't really believe that. No more. Like I had a moment. She told us, mm-hmm. I had a moment. I don't believe that no more. But I'm like, man, I'm watching it in real time with yeah. a teenager trying to figure out faith and trying to figure out choices. Mm. Like, what should my friends? So I saw, I saw a little text message between her and some little boy, right? Because oh. I read through my, all of the, everything, <laughs> and the little kid asked, asked her, "What's your religion?" And I was like, man, this is a conversation that wow. Wow. these kids in school are having, wow. and I respected it. Then I, I shut it down though after that. I respect little homie for asking what you <laughs> believe in, <laughs> but it's over with. <laughs> but I'm saying like, like in real time, I'm watching exactly what we're saying. These kids and these folks and even people our age, they are walking around trying to figure out what it, what, what they should be believing in. And I think yeah, the most important thing for us to do is to live it and walk it out in front that's of them. True.